<laughs> she just oh. gets running through the background of all of our cameras somehow. <laughs> what the? <laughs> and uh, playing this goblin special guest, Meryl. <laughs> <laughs> this is the musical episode. <laughs> uh, Dancing it's Queen starts playing. <laughs> Guest appearance as fast as uh, Chris Perkins on Critical Role. I'm here. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dungeon of the Mad Mage. It's an adventure published by Wizards of the Coast. Oh, look how glossy it is. Ooh. And um, you're looking at the players, the heroes who dared to brave level one. Hey, look at Troopa. Thanks for watching, my friend. Um, so we had left off. The group is deep in the bowels of level mm. one. And the heroes have been asked by Volo to find this magic elven throne called the Throne of the Coronal. Thank you for the subscriptions, by the way. Wait, you too. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Shauna. Look at Troopa. Stay home. <laughs> yeah, right. Um... So they're looking for an <laughs> elven throne. And Sunspot has caught wind of a two-headed statue that apparently has some kind of magic treasures. Hi, Aya. And um, so what had happened was they had found this mask, like a gold mask of, of the face of some mad mage. And when they put it on and walked into the alcove, one person could go to this weird realm where there was a wizard who said he would answer three questions, two truthfully and one liefully. So um, somebody got lied to and truthed. But then Kuriyami decided to slap that mask on her face, and <laughs> Kuriyami <laughs> went in. So that's where we had left off last time. Room we sure 20, did. Room 27, hidden demiplane. Uh, mm. 30 foot square stone room. There's a misty portal. Mm. There's half a ten-foot pole. There's a portrait hanging upside down of a bearded wizard. Seated on a high-backed oak chair. In front of the painting is uh, a wizard in black robes with white hair and a long white beard. And when you mm. walk in Kuriyami, it says, Well, don't just stand there like a boob. Ask me three questions about Undermountain. Two of my answers will be true. And one will be false. Hmm. I think Yami just kind of like glares at him for a second. Uh, cause I don't, I don't know what she thinks of Hollister, honestly, cause she has a shard of his soul inside her, but she's been having these weird visions because of it. So it's kind of like, eh. <laughs> Yes, Jeanette, I have, yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. I think I, Yami probably steps up and, like, there's a desk, right? Is that what you said? Or is it just a chair? He's in a high-backed oak chair sitting in front of a painting. Oh, okay. Just, just like a throne. Upside down. Okay. Uh, then I'll walk up to him. And I will put my hands on the armrests and, like, sort of get in his face. Uh, and just kind of, like, <laughs> snort on him like a bull, you know, about to charge. And I'm going to say, um, there was a woman who you imprisoned in a place called the Citadel of the Bloody Hand, correct? Who was she, Mr. Hallister? You are really close to this person. Good. <laughs> and I am going to hope it's intimidating to decide if they like it or not. High I means, hope they don't. High means they don't like it. Mm. I wish I had the Solaris dice cam. <laughs> Jeanette, can you show the viewers? Oh my! Look Whoa! at that! Oh my God! Why did I not do that? I'm totally doing it, that. I like that you had dice rolling action when you switched <laughs> to it too. <laughs> That was really good. Boom. Die roll. All well, right. All we're missing is like action lines, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm rolling to see if this creature likes. Oh, it does like it. 
Oh, God. He gets a big smile on his face. His beard quivers. Gross. And what did you say to him? Uh, so I had that vision about being his apprentice or whatever and being imprisoned in the Citadel of the Bloody Hand a while back. And uh, it was like a lady, right? So I asked him who that was. I honestly don't know. <laughs> the lady you're speaking of is one of my original apprentices. There was Rantantar, who had a wand of wonder. And there was <sighs> Nestor, who uh, has a tattoo on his head. And Trobriand the Metal Mage, who uh, has a pet tiny iron scorpion. And then there was Moiral the Misshapen. This is going to count as at least one question, by the way. Well, that's okay, yes. Yeah. Moiral the Misshapen. A powerfully built man with a long sword that drips blood. Octuria! Edgy. She wears a wide-brimmed conical hat and a robe of butterflies. Marambra Nightsteel. A striking woman with long auburn hair and a empty, distant gaze. But the one <laughs> you speak of is Jesiria Kestelharp. She wore uh, yellow and blue robes. And yes, I imprisoned her. And yes, she escaped thanks to the accursed spell plague. <laughs> hmm. I heard that also blew you up, but evidently not. Hmm. <laughs> Alistair Blackcloak is not so easily slain. <laughs> That's two. Hmm. Now, before I ask a third question, I'm going to make a statement. Your, and I sort of look around the room, your, your dungeon here, it, it sucks. If I'm going to be, if I'm going to be honest with you, Mr. Hallister. Mm. based on what I've seen of this miserable place of yours, your design acumen is, mm. About a thousand years out of style, <laughs> honestly. I mean, empty rooms in a dungeon, really? No, no treasure. That, that's not even fun to explore, Hallister. A, a dungeon is a place, a living thing. Let me tell you. Let an me tell organism. you. Organism. No. Sometimes your bladder is empty. But you refill your bladder with food. You see. If there's nothing there, there's no fun at all. Fill it with urine. Food. These are... Well... <laughs> How dare okay. you speak ill of Undermountain, my, my These... incredible lair. This Undermountain of yours, Hallister, is less the dungeon of the Mad Mage, more the dungeon of the Sad Mage, honestly. Okay? <laughs> and you know what? I can do a better job than you. In fact, I plan to. Your days, Hallister Blackcloak, are numbered. So let me ask you, do you like noodles? Because you're about to be taken out. And I'm going to swing my club at him. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You don't like noodles? <laughs> Are you taking me out for noodles? Right, no, ahead. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, a 21 to hit. <laughs> Uh, 21 hits, Halister Black Cloak. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to spend five side points. <laughs> Yo. Boom. Okay. Oh, my God. I rolled max on a couple of these D6s. Uh, gosh. No, wait. Oh, gosh. 33 bludgeoning damage. Okay. 33. You attack Halister. Yeah. And then he is going to attack you. Okay. <laughs> There's a portal in this room, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Also, I'm going to use as my reaction or whatever um i'm gonna use my surge of health ability as a mystic to regain uh five hit points by the way <laughs> okay just in case let's go with uh all right let's... 
He's not going to kill you. He's, he says... He says... You're on the first level of 23. Mm -hmm. There's no way you'll survive. But Keep telling yourself that. You've annoyed me. Mm. And so I'm going to turn you into something. Um, what's a good animal to try to polish? At least make it interesting, Halister. How about a mouse? It's, no, it's a mouse. Thanks, Aya, for the bits. Hey, everybody. Under Chris Crash, you will see a bar. And that bar tracks bits, right? So if you donate bits once we get to a thousand, one of these fine, exquisite players gets a cool natural 20 to use whenever they so desire. Hmm. And above Dylan, we're going to see a tracker that's going to track your activities for all time. Hmm. All right, I'm polymorphing you into... Uh, let's see. What, what's a fun animal? Rabbit. Mm -hmm. A giraffe. <laughs> Somebody in chat suggests a chinchilla. All right, oh a chinchilla. A chinchilla. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna. It's pretty cute. I mean, all right. I so... have a chinchilla. I should run upstairs and grab him. Oh, you have. You have. Uh... <laughs> They're a South American rodent that's ridiculously fluffy. Yeah. Really? Yes. <laughs> the fluffiest. All right. What second throw do I got to make? This is a very advanced spell known as Polymorph. It is. So, I just need to see what kind of saving throw it is. It, it is, is a I wisdom it. save. So please make oh. a wisdom saving throw. Curry. My lowest stat. Excellent. Curry, <laughs> I am uh, 12. In the realm of uh, okay, so you've turned into a chinchilla. Hey, cute. <laughs> now, in this new form... Perhaps you'll learn a little thing called humility. <laughs> and and if you do well in the rest of my dungeon, perhaps I'll give you a treat. Now, waddle through the portal, fool! <laughs> Chinchillas, you have little hands, so <laughs> you could. <laughs> they're, like, they're like squirrels, so you probably bark. <laughs> <Good one. laughs> oh, and then I'm going to... Thank you for the follow, um, Kaladin405. Mm. And then, yeah, I'm going to scurry through the portal after going to the middle finger, you know. Making sure that I raise my tail so he can see my butt. <laughs> All right. He gets a good look at your sphincter. So, everybody, um, <laughs> suddenly, Yami went through. There's a couple minutes of nothing. And then all of a sudden, a chinchilla walks out. And there you are together in the cold, drafty dungeon of the Mad Mage. I believe that Solaris is still invisible from the game. Yeah, gate. I think I'm still invisible, too. Oh. Hey, so the only one in the hallway is Crish Crash. Hey, it's food! Goes to pick up the chinchilla. <laughs> uh, cr Crish Crash, don't pick up, don't eat things you pick up off the ground. Yeah, really? Crish Crash. It sopped. Hasn't sopped me before. Takes one bite. It's true. <laughs> no. It doesn't usually stop Crish Crash. Crish Crash, no! We'll say he bites the tail or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the squirrel-like tail at the end. You bite the chinchilla, and then I assume you probably are suddenly hanging from Kuriyami's arm or something. Wait. Okay, wait a sec. Yeah, because you did damage. You do damage. You'll... So yeah. polymorph turns off. So your bite attack, I don't know, roll a d6 for damage, Krish. I, I don't have a natural bite attack. I, the bite. dungeon master, declare okay. that in this one instance... You do. Nibble. Okay. But then, me... when you need it most, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There shall be no dogs. <laughs> it is a whopping two. Oh, oh my god! I take one damage. Oh no! So Yami, you suddenly turn into Yami again, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, whoa! Ah! Ah! Oh, hello there. <laughs> All I see is red. Is I'm, you're like sitting on me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why you don't eat things that you don't know what they are. Y'all be crushing him. Get up. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> there you go, Chris Crash. There's like the the, the mm. cartoon like twitch. Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> just pick him up and just inflate him. Carry <laughs> <laughs> him like a wrong, balloon to the dungeon. Wrong magic spell. Anyway. <laughs> mm. Yami, what the hell? 
Hmm. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Okay. It feels uh, like weeks. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Weird. Being in, being in Halister's presence definitely feels like a drag. I'll tell you that. Wait, in who? Oh, the dude who made this place. I thought he was dead, but I guess not. You found yeah. he's he's in there. Did he tell you how to get the hell out of here or where we're going? You you know him? No, <laughs> no, he was in there, and I kind of threatened him though. So, what? You know what? Uh, l- listen, Solaris. You know, a, w- a little ways back down the hallway. I know yeah. it, it's felt like weeks, but you were a little surprised by my uh, hesitancy, I suppose. And I, I'll admit, I have been. Um, rather hesitant here if not a little afraid of this place but you know what what why should i be afraid why should any of us be afraid i mean i've i think all of us honestly have been making our own paths basically since we started out on our adventures yes i mean definitely the use of ours sunspot chris crash even you have done your own thing making your little horde and all of that so I figure, why not embrace that making our own path thing and choose to do something exciting, you know? So I've chosen, and you are happily, I'd happily allow you to accompany me in this. I've chosen to uh, trash this shithole of a dungeon, kill the Xanathar, and supplant Talister. So why don't we go kick some ass? Hmm? I mean... I'm not doing anything until the wedding, and we aren't <laughs> doing that for a while, so sure. I'm looking forward to that, actually, yes. All hail yummy! It's I agree you. with the ass-kicking part. Hmm, good, excellent. That's all that matters, in my opinion, then. <laughs> Let's all go power- kick some ass. All-powerful leader, make us a great layer. <laughs> That's the plan. In fact, I'll give you a whole level of Undermountain just yourself, Chris Crash. Hooray! <laughs> I think Crush Crash wants the one where all the treasure goes when things steal the treasure. Oh yes, definitely, definitely. Like if there are any um, ethereal filters or something, we'll give you that layer. Mm-hmm. So as Yami makes a speech, you can sort of feel a, a magical energy kind of swirl around each of you. Oh jeez! You all feel Uh-oh. a slight tugging on your soul. <clears throat> to the east. Oh. Hey, I still got one of those. That's cool. (laughs) That is good. (laughs) Yes, it's true. Turtle Max says to go that way. Well, let's be off then. What the hell was that? Turtle Mac. Oh, bless you. My God. (laughs) Uh, Sure. Ooh, all right. Anyway, um, hmm. So that we okay that way. Statue, Let's go that way. All right. This Halister must be gnome. Mm. Because gnomes are nasty. True. Well, some gnomes are all right. You come to a door that is not trapped or locked. Oh, cool. Let's go through it. Efficient. <laughs> we can open the non-trapped locked door. It opens. What? There's a hallway that goes left and right. Suddenly, your souls. <laughs> lurch, <laughs> lurch to the right. Ah, what? Oh, oh. This works for me. <laughs> Your souls are lurching. Whoa, whoa. Okay, Yami, I think you pissed somebody off. Aha. Hey, whatever. I do that all the time. <laughs> What's going on? I'm getting divine reading from Kurtle Mac. This way. <laughs> Wait, Chris, crash. That's my legs. Ow! You, I still see myself. <laughs> I just imagine Chris Crash like running up ahead of us now. It's like this way, guys. <laughs> he right. thinks he's getting divine inspiration, so yeah. <laughs> it brings you to a door, hmm. and um, this thing that is manhandling your soul is indicating that you should go into that room beyond the door. Okay. I think we should go in the room, guys. I think we should be ready for whatever's doing this but yes same Get my crash is already reaching up for the door handle and opening it okay you open the door 
Um, in this room, there is a 30-foot-wide floor-to-ceiling map carved into the west wall. In the middle of the room, there is a pit. You can hear something moving around in the pit. Okay. That's not good. What's the uh, map of? It's on the west wall, so from here, it's hard to tell. You're going to have to go in to get a good look at it. There's a crash. Uh, goes down to all fours, and he starts sneaking into the room towards the pit. You know what? Yami will probably just walk over to the map. So Lars is going to be uh, sneaky, but she's also invisible, So, but she's going to quietly, like, go around, like, the other side of the pit to where Yami goes. Okay. Sounds fast just going to follow behind Krish Crash. Okay. So, the map... This elaborate image is a cross-section map of Undermountain, with what is clearly Mount Waterdeep and the City of Splendors at the top, and 23 hollowed-out dungeon levels stacked below it. Wow. Each dungeon level has its own stylistic side view, but no names or details are included to suggest what a level is called, what it contains. There are three features that stand out. Next to the third level is a bas-relief of a flaming skull. Next to the 16th level is a bas-relief of a comet. Next to the 23rd, the lowest level, is a bas-relief of a tower with a tiny rune engraved above it. Mm -hmm. And, um, Chris Crash, you're crawling over to the pit? Uh, sneakily, yes. Um... I'm trying not to be noticed what it, by whatever's Looking in Looking into the pit, it looks like it was once... There's, like, rubble in it, so it's 20 feet deep. And there is a creature pacing in the rubble down there. Uh, a I humanoid wearing armor. Oh, like, full plate? It's chainmail. Okay. It's just pacing. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, hmm. I have the wizard sound set on so I can play some noises for the viewers while you decide oh. what to do. Here's the thoughtful wizard. Hmm. Uh, that's a little raunchy. Here's the exert. <laughs> 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 What makes you think the exertion would be better, then? Oh. It never is. Yikes. An injury. Oh. I won't play this anymore, everybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some magic noise. Oh. Stream blows up. Let's see if there is a walking noise. Yeah, I you heard that, right? <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Rope swoosh. There. So, um, you guys can uh, do what you want. I'll just keep hmm. mashing these buttons until then. So, now, Jeanette, you said you came yeah. over with me to the map, yeah. right? I I went the other way around, but kind of met in the okay. middle. Okay. Well, I uh, I probably point at the skull thing on the map because that's that's skullport, right? Make a perception check, Yami. Okay. As you hear a thoughtful noise. Hmm. 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 Let's see. I get all of my bonuses. Uh, Seventeen. You realize it's a button. Oh. As in, you could press it. Oh. Well. Well. I'll press it. Press what? it. Uh, okay. <laughs> and a magical voice fills the room and says, Gate access to Skullport disabled. Oh. oh. Really? The deep, he doesn't even maintain the dungeon? I'm not surprised. <laughs> There's also a button of a comet and a tower. Oh. Huh. I'll press the others just in case. <laughs> so you press uh, the comet? Yeah. Gate access to Star Deck, Star Dock from level sixteen only. Mm. Okay. I meant Star, Star Dock. Dock. Sounds good. 
Yes, thank you, voice. I'm glad you corrected yourself. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Halster is a mad mage. I would like to think when he recorded that magic mouth, that's actually what it was. He just corrected himself. You also hear, yeah, how do I time. turn this thing off? <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a little voice. No, no, you push that button, sir. No, that one. No, the one to your right. Okay, sir. I don't the know how this still technology on. works. Actually, actually, <laughs> If there's another voice, it's probably like <laughs> <laughs> some kind of undercommon. He like, <laughs> like he thinks it's off, and you hear him like eating a sandwich. You're like, mm. <laughs> what else we got to do today? Alistair, mute your mic. <laughs> Mind flare calamari. Mm. Mm. There's a tower button that has not been pressed. <sighs> Solaris, would you like to do the honors? I mean, at this point, we might as well try it, and I push the tower button. When you press it, a voice says, okay. Gate access to Halister's tower from level 23 only. Makes sense. Okay, so level 16 gets us to the star thingamajig. We can't get to Skullport from here, and we have to go all the way to level 23 to get to the tower. Great. Um, sure. What's in the pit? That's a good question. There's a person thingy. Um, so there's a person pacing around in there, and when you look down, it looks up at you, and it's got, like, it's must be undead, because it's got shriveled features and, like, no uh -huh. nose. Aww. Its eyes are glowing. Ugh. It's a really ugly person. Ugh. It happens. Not everyone can be as gorgeous as, as I it am. It says to you, Sunspot, you're no oh, prize talks. either. Holy crap, it talked! So I'm invisible, how can it see me? <laughs> oh. You're probably so no invisible. prize either. <laughs> hey, why don't you come up here and say that to my face? Oh, wait, you can't! <laughs> it sees right through you. Says, oh, oh my god. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> Being hackled by another group of adventurers. Who are you? My name's Halith Gark. You ever hear of the fine fellows at Daggerford? Mm hmm. Yeah, actually, a few months ago. Well, I'm one of them. Or at least My brother I works was. there. There's a band of adventurers from Daggerford. Mm hmm. We fought orcs over here. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, cool. How long ago was that that you left Daggerford? You saved Daggerford like three times. Mm -hmm. A couple uh, months. Not ringing a bell. Just for the you record, mm -hmm. Dragon mm -hmm. Haste, your character did hear about the fine. Oh, we did. Yes, I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. You ever hear of Brighton? Brighton Raylan? No. Hmm. hmm. Is that your brother, Solaris? Yeah. Look, are you gonna help no. me out of here or not? Um. Why, Why would we, we help you out? Because I want revenge on the fine fellows of Daggerford. What? Are, I thought they, you were a member. What? They beat me to death and threw my body in the pit. I woke oh. up the next day as this. That's a twist. Why and did I'm... they beat you to death? Why? Because I accused them of withholding treasure from me. Mm. Were they withholding treasure from you? Of course they were. Bunch of liars. Okay. You see, he's wearing the symbol of Waukeen, the god of money. Hmm. Hmm. Slim actually might have had a little shrine for her. Oh, yeah. He did worship Waukeen. Yeah, didn't Slim's friend at the Yawning Portal, wasn't she a priestess of Waukeen? Yes. Huh. So, what exactly are you now? Well, I was a cleric, mm -hmm. and um, I'm probably undead now. Mm-hmm. Well, I can understand revenge. It certainly makes a good story. Man comes back from the dead, murders all of his adventuring companions. What what's his plan after he kills all of them though? Well, how do we know he's not going to try and kill us? That's a good that too. Yeah. 
I mean, in most ghost stories back home in Kozakura anyway, the ghost only really goes after people who slighted it. Unless it's like some weird ring situation, but we, we don't have to worry about that. Does calling right. him ugly count as slighting him? Because I may have called him ugly. Okay, maybe. Scary man not going anywhere. If we want to, we can come back later. <laughs> That's also true. Yeah. It's true. We don't have to do anything. Uh, Chris Crash looks quite reluctant on freeing this guy down there. And if we do find any of the fine fellows of Daggerford, and they do end up being dickholes, I mean, we could just throw them in the pit. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> that works Have for me. In the pit. Oh, see, it works for him. Yeah, really? see, look. Good job. Okay, so yeah, we'll we'll bring them back here if they're dick... What? Anyway, <laughs> and we'll yeah. throw them into the pit. And Yami said pickles. Yes, pickles, yes. Sour, you know. Mm-hmm. We could build a pit trap here. Oh. That's true. Huh. Not my first one. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, Chris Crash, I'm not going to stop you. Hooray! <laughs> I have no idea how he's going to, though. I don't have his... Rome just, just threw his pack. Cobalt ingenuity. You want to try to make a trap door on the pit? Like a hidden trap door, yeah. Hmm. But but there's I don't know where we get wood and stuff. Well, you could take one of the doors off the hinges. That's true. Oh, just cut the door up a little bit. Solaris pulls out her tinker's tools and says, I can help. Oh. I do have a hammer and uh. iron spikes. Mm-hmm. Well, only two iron spikes there from that first place we went. I can help the, rip the door off its uh, hinges <laughs> with my ogre strength. I think between the group of us, we could definitely rig something up that works as a trap. So is this I'll gonna, supervise. Is this going to be a building the trap door montage? Yes. <laughs> I do have string. I build like a little trip wire. Like they like trip on it and fall into it. Right. Oh my god! Murder, murder, I love it. Murder, murder, murder. All right, so Yami, rip the door off the hinges. Yep. Murder, 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 murder. Make a strength check. I start playing my wooden flute to inspire the montage. <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> it's a it's a trap making montage. Uh, making trap and it's a twelve. <laughs> Somehow that's good enough. Boom! Oh and then wow! You give him like a rosy derivator pose, you know, with your headband and your sweaty muscle arm. Oh yeah. All right, you next step. Go. Cutting up the door. Who's going to cut up the door? Somebody's going to cut up the door. I mean, I could cut it up. All right. How? With what? Um, I have uh, my sword. Anyone have carpenter's tools? No, I don't. Just tinker's tools and thieves' tools. I, have col- I can, like, karate chop the door. Oh, Ooh. that's good. That's good. <laughs> that works. All right. Sunspot. <laughs> Roll to karate yeah. chop the door with the karate chop the door or something. Gonna karate chop the door. Twenty one. Oh my! <laughs> oh, the precision is unbelievable. <laughs> and like in in the pit, the revenants looking up like what? Why? All right. And then so it's been cut up. Now you gotta put the hinges chop, on chop, and chop. screw it in. Who's gonna do that part? I got tinker's tools. Oh. Okay, fine. Why? What do you want to do, Krish? I have little pythons. I was gonna nail them in. Ooh, okay. Make you a, could assist each other. Make a nail them in check. Assisted. Uh, what? What? I don't know. Total bugs like, or something. Okay. Um. It's gonna happen unless you roll one. Maybe, maybe intelligence or something. It's craft. Yeah. What'd maybe you roll? Uh, with intelligence. Wait, Solaris should roll because she's the dice can. Yeah, yeah. activate yeah. dice cam. Activating Roll dice a d twenty. Let's see what you get. <laughs> Hammer in patterns into the thing. Oh, oh. is that a one? That's a seven. Oh, okay. If I add my, uh, if if I'm using uh, what would we say, uh, if dexterity plus proficiency, it's uh, a fourteen. All right. Ooh, that, okay. That's a tragic move. Let's go see that in replay. <laughs> <laughs> 
You hate to see that. Blue motion roll. And it goes to seven. No, that's worse. That's worse. <laughs> All right. You made a trap door. So the floor is made of stone, and there's this wooden door, trap door, in the middle of the room. Are there, is there any, like, big piece of cloth or fabric we could find in any of the other rooms <laughs> that could fit over top of it to hide it? Sure. I was going to say, can we find some, like, really dingy gray cloth and then I can paint it with some ink to look like bricks. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. This wow. is in depth. Wow. <laughs> For no reason other than just because. Let's remember this is here. All right. Make a, Yami, make a painting check. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Actually, every, I think this would be a group check. Everybody's probably going to do it. Yay. Oh, yeah. This is the part oh, of the yeah, montage exactly. where everybody's painting the house together on a ladder. Yeah. Having Chris a good time. Chris is doing the fine line details where he just like takes the ink and dips it in a claw and you know. Just... Mm, what what am I even rolling for a painting? Just a twenty sided die. I got to thirteen. Yeah, it's a good roll for a painting check. Thirteen five. as well. A five? Oh no! I got a five. Oh, no. <laughs> two thirteens and two fives, really? Uh, oh okay, all right. Gabby so... and Sunspot are painting each other. Like we start having to paint fight. <laughs> We're just throwing paint at each other. Yeah. Paint fight. <laughs> And yeah, everybody else is like, come on, guys. The Revenant's just like, I wish I was dead again. <laughs> Don't waste all the paint. Where did we find this paint? Also, Some, Somewhere Hollow Notes is playing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you have... Uh, Why did we make this? <laughs> I don't know, but it was fun. This crash looks really happy. It was to make Chris happy. So all I'll that matters. Right. It was his make a wish wish. Cut to somewhere else in the dungeon. <laughs> the gif who who's still planning on killing and replacing Chris Crash as the as Scott's character. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaning out his gun. He's like in Skullport or something. So I like, got there for it. Just like oh, waiting wait for us to get there. Wait until you see the whites of their eyes. He's like, what's taking them so long? And then it's like, <laughs> we're having a montage. All right. Trap to a montage. <laughs> God. Okay. Saxophone solo. <laughs> 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 They must be fighting some incredible monster right now. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty. We're murdering goblins having a birthday party and making a fucking trap door. Yeah. <laughs> uh, They're like, you know in the breakfast club where they had the montage and they all like mm -hmm. dance across the screen, you know? And you guys are like going across and it's like, oh, the trap door is there. We almost fell in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Chris will drag some of the dead goblin bodies into the room. Oh my god. So it's like inconvenience not to walk towards where the ah, hidden spot. Ah, nice. That's a good idea. Chris, Chris yeah. is thinking like way too hard on this. Like he, he definitely looks like he's made traps before. No, no, it's a it's a good idea. Because I mean most adventurers when they come in, they'll see the goblin bodies and they'll be like, Oh, what's in here that killed the goblins? They're not gonna notice the trap door right there. <laughs> Smart idea, Chris. Smart idea. <laughs> A okay. goblin family that was just eating a nice meal that we honored. <laughs> we take off the birthday hat off one of them and just like <laughs> toss it aside. So as you finish up, oh my god! Wait, know. wait, 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 wait! I got. I, do I have a shiny? No, I don't. I was gonna put a shiny right on the middle of the trap door, so uh, they like have to walk to it. Never mind. Go ahead. So um, hmm. you finish your montage. Oh. And your souls suddenly um, are being yanked. Whoa. I don't want to say jerked, but mm. you feel like you're. Yeah, I don't. I don't want my soul being jerked. Hold it, forcibly hold in the direction. No, that way. You're guided. You're so... We're being guided. Guided, guided okay. yes. Okay. Uh, mm, that's the safest. <laughs> First crash looks at his hand like I didn't cast that spell. Hmm. <laughs> Your souls are being guided to the south, but on that south wall, it's just a wall. Thump! Ow! <laughs> hell? You start feeling the wall. You feel seems a telltale sign of a secret door. Guys, secret door! 
Oh, sweet. I so on the door. Oh, geez. <laughs> it, it's got a little sign that flashes push. <laughs> I push on the door. <laughs> All right. It swings open and reveals a hallway. <gasps> that is an emergency oh fire exit. It's a hallway. <laughs> An alarm starts going off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. um, Whoops. Uh, just a, just a, like. Oh, I can see it on the map now. It's like a tur turning hallway. Mm -hmm. I would, I would um, like to say, as as the map just moved with our characters, I feel like shoots and ladders again. Like, we just one of the ladders, or we're sliding, or the shoots. Us moving sliding. on the map is our souls being pulled in one direction. Yes. <laughs> so, um, you well, from what you can tell in this hallway, it curves and then it comes to a dead end. So, but your souls are. Uh, berating you to move forward <laughs> i hit the wall again ow what is going on this is ridiculous uh, but... is sniffing around on the wall trying to find a secret door so you're going all the way down the hall yep. yes yeah Skrish. more seams there's another secret door hmm. looky looky the door hold on so as you you know you feel the seams it seems like you're getting a mm, the eldritch energy is instilling you with a sense of great importance as if whatever is beyond this secret door might be something relevant what <laughs> in this dungeon <laughs> <laughs> you can't badmouth the Dungeon of the Mad Mage on the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. It's illegal. But Sean, I've done it the entire stream. <laughs> <laughs> you can't heckle the dungeon. It's so fun, though. Actually, you can, actually. I don't care. Crash tries to be sneaky about it, quietly opens the door and tries to sneak in. Mm. All right. All right, Krish. Um, like, it slowly swings open. And the dank light of your dank light source reveals uh, a 30 foot high room that has a statue. Um, you can hear the sound of arguing from a tunnel further away. The statue is life size and depicts a dwarf king standing atop a three foot high stone pedestal. Sprouting from the king's neck is a deformed, mostly featureless, second head with an elongated, toothless mouth. Ew. The inscriptions on the pedestal have been worn away. On the king's brow rests an engraved stone circlet, and his large hands grasp the handle of a stone warhammer, the head of which is planted at his feet. There's also a tall mushroom growing out of the floor nearby and it's got a stalk along a couple feet high and it's got yeah. like a bulbous head okay um anything else in this room as it's just a mushroom chris is just <laughs> scurrying in here you go in chris yeah, he's he's as low as he can be, and he's trying to be as stealthy as possible. He doesn't need a light source, so he goes in without a light source. Suddenly, Chris, as you enter the room, the mushroom uh -oh. shivers, and the bulbous part on top splits open as if it was a puppet and someone was controlling the mouth. And it opens its mouth real wide, and it goes, <gasps> Chris shoots a firebolt at it. It's oh my like God. peering around the corner. As, oh as, you hear, as you hear the cobalt immediately break stealth and go, ah! And shoots a firebolt. All right, a firebolt. Okay, go ahead and roll to hit. It's this weird mushroom thing. I, I think I missed, actually. Yeah. Oh, crash. Let me look, let me look. Uh, yeah, seven, I'm pretty sure missed. Ah. It has an armor class of five. Oh, wow. Oh How much God. damage do you do? Uh, let me roll that. There you are, D10. A whopping five fire damage. Okay, you hit it, but it doesn't die. That's it goes, good. Ah! 
I think Kuriyama will run out and be like, oh, Chris Crash, Chris Crash, what? Hold on, don't throw any more fireballs. And then it like, takes a deep breath. <gasps> and it goes, <gasps> What the Hi. heck? Are, are you going to play some of those wizard noises again? <laughs> <laughs> wizard noises? Yeah, so it's not going to walk in and be like, what yeah, the hell? Yeah, you're right. All right, wait. Exertion. <sighs> Exertion. Oh God! Aya, tell me if this is this feels inappropriate. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> is this a? Is this like some weird Mykonid? I'll do one more. What is this? I don't know. Yo. Huh? What do we do? I don't know. Is it talking? Aya, what do we do? Super bad. What What do we do, Master Yami? I, uh, I don't know. I say kill it before it kills us. Well, it doesn't seem to could want to move? kill us. I don't think that's it can move. That, that's what killers want you to think. Well, on occasion. Can I do like an arcana check on this thing? Or nature or whatever? Yes. Okay. You oh, rack your brain okay. for monster knowledge. Uh, a, I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use nature because I am proficient. Uh, um, hmm. uh, twenty-five. You've heard of creatures called shriekers. Oh, they look like fungus, but um, usually when a creature gets close to it, it emits a really loud shriek. Yeah, but this one seems to have laryngitis or something. Oh. Oh. <laughs> me, me. oh, poor guy. <gasps> Does anybody have any water? The Ricola. Yeah. Oh, a Ricola, yeah. Uh, I mean, do we oh. want to give it water so it can? Oh, I just healthy? feel bad for him. Goodness, poor guy. I mm. mean, he's only got one job, and he's having trouble with it. I know. How would how would you feel about that sunspot? I mean, I mean, I don't have my job anymore because somebody blew up the sewers and all the rats okay, scattered. That's, the, that's a good point. Okay. <sighs> Meanwhile in hell. <laughs> 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 Fucking slim. <laughs> and then all the rats that died in the explosion swarm him. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, it's like a. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, Chris Crash. Whoa, focus camera. <laughs> uh, he, he will nervously look around the room and see if there's like any other hidden doors like maybe <gasps> this thing will signal things to attack us I heard that arguing too I heard arguing. Yeah. looking around the room this room there are many exits yes many exits indeed there's one two to the south hmm. one to the east and one to the north I believe the arguing is coming from the north side of the house. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Chris Crash goes over and hugs the wall on the north side. And, um. Well, there's just a tunnel. There's no. Oh, okay. It's an open. That's, there's open tunnels. That, that's where the noise is coming from. That yeah. tunnel uh, further mm -hmm. down. Okay. Yeah. So there's a two-headed statue in here, a mushroom with laryngitis, I know. a tunnel Sunspot. of noises, and other tunnels. Sunspot's still invisible. is going to slowly start shifting towards the statue. Aha. Shifting towards the statue. Hmm. I wonder if Fala knows anything about mushroom care. Hmm. Maybe. She is quite a proficient gardener. Or, sorry, they are quite a proficient yeah. gardener. Excuse me. Let's see. Deformed granite statue. Uh, yeah, life size dwarf king has a second deformed, featureless second head with an uh, elongated, toothless mouth. Inscriptions on the pedestal have been worn away. On the king's brow rests an engraved stone circlet. And his large hands grasp the handle of a stone warhammer, the head of which is planted at his feet. I'm okay. going. Sunspot's going to look at the circle and go, oh, there you are. And he's going to 
try and move the hammer upright because he heard the story of what he needs to do. Hey, that's Doug. Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, yeah, mushrooms. It's some kind of mushroom that's trying to shriek, but it has laryngitis. Um, now, when you're messing with the hammer, Sunspot, yes. you learn something. Ooh. The statue hides that? a secret. Um, the Warhammer is a separate piece of stone that can be rotated. I rotate it. Oh. Uh-huh. When you oh. do so, the pedestal suddenly begins to rise. What do you do? Oh. What the? I rise on the pedestal. <laughs> ah. Uh-oh. Slam into the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I said, don't touch things in the dungeon. It's like it's like it starts slow. It's like, eh, and then just bam. <laughs> <laughs> the pedestal the rises, rises. An incredible three feet, revealing an open cavity at the Ooh. base. And I hop down and I start to fit over. As you reverently kneel and peer into this cavity, you see what looks like a magic circlet. One that uh, looks like the one worn by the statue, but this one is fashioned from gold. Rather than stone. Yoink. Mm. What you doing, Sunspot? As you touch it. I take it out. You feel magic power radiating ha, up ha. through all over your epidermis. Oh. Soaking through your pores. Yes. Into your muscle. Exfoliating? <laughs> Some of it is exfoliating, yeah. It, it what? <laughs> <laughs> It immediately blasts a layer of skin off, giving you <laughs> clear, healthy glow. Deep tissue. I get, I get a nice tan going. Sunspot's hair waves in the breeze. <laughs> it's a perpetual breeze going. It's the king circlet of the spa. Oh my god. The spa circlet. It's a Manny Petty, I don't know where. <laughs> smells like cucumber. <laughs> All from this incredible circlet. Hmm. Yes. This is the circlet in which you have seek and did. And I have prepared for this. So Sunspot, he puts it on. <gasps> Whoa. Oh! Whoa! Oh! A prop! My God. The production prop. values are insane. Yeah. <laughs> we spare no expense on this. We thing. have a dice <laughs> cam. We have actual dice props. Cam. A tiara. Wait, do the dice cam, Jeanette. <laughs> dice cam! <laughs> Dice cam! Yeah! There it is. Roll. Dice what do we get on the dice? Oh, oh, a big guy! <laughs> I am doing that. I am... Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, Doug... Are you watching a Hollywood production? <laughs> oh, it lit up! Oh, my God. That's amazing. Where is our $10 million Kickstarter? <laughs> <laughs> dungeon, Dungeon of the Bad Man. Dungeon, Dungeon. <laughs> I don't even know how you would spend that much on the stream. Get our own intro and everything. Animated. I think we'd have like 9.9 million to spare. <laughs> um, okay. Where there's a will, there's a way. When you put on the circlet, you realize it's a circlet of blasting. It allows you, <laughs> it allows you to cast Scorching Ray once per day. And you have a plus five to hit with it. Wait, you're already a Sun Soul Monk, aren't you? Yep. Oh, oh man. It's even more badass. D- does the circlet turn invisible with me? I think or so, yeah. just like a... Uh-uh. Oh, I was going to say, is there like just a floating circlet? I don't know. Uh, if it's it... normal invisibility, his invisibility would have turned off, but it, it was going through that door thing, so I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Whatever you want. If you want it to be visible, it can be. If it's invisible, then it can be. I don't care. Whatever you no, want. just stay invisible with it. Okay. I don't know if I'm still invisible, though. I may be back to normal. Well, it lasts for an hour, doesn't it? I don't know, I don't know how long time is, time is relative. Is it, is it normal invisibility, or is it greater invisibility? Oh, you know what? During the montage, your invisibility would have went off. Uh, uh, okay. It was a long period montage. of time. And plus, the splatters of paint would have revealed your invisible form as well. True. It's true, we did that before when we murdered this painter lady. Plus, how can we film a montage when two of you are invisible? That's not going to work. Things are floating around on their yeah. own. The you just see like snaps. a paint splatters on me. The door snaps in <laughs> half. 
<laughs> Somebody throws paint at like the wall, and it's like it's on you and there. your shape. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's one of those, like, super high uh, frame rate cameras. So it's, like, all in super slow motion. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does the arguing change at all? Because the stone mm. pillar thing just lifted up out of the ground. It probably made a bit of noise. It made a bit of noise, but no, the arguing continues okay. unabated. Okay. Chris, hey guys, did... look. I found it. Oh, that's good. Oh, I that's should good. also note one other thing. There's a stairwell leading down. What? Oh. Mm-hmm. Hello there. Shiny? Mm-hmm. Right there. Hi, oh, shiny. Parent scurries over and checks it out. <laughs> the stairway goes down and down, perhaps to another level of the dungeon of the mage mage. While Crush Crash runs toward the stairs, Solaris is going to tuck in along the northern corridor and try to hear the say. argument and see if she can figure out like what what's being argued about or how many people there are. What? Sorry. Solaris, I'm going to I'm going to tuck up into that northern corridor. I want to see if I can figure out what they're arguing about and how how many people. The northern corridor. I try to be very quiet. I will roll stealth if you want me to. You don't need to roll a stealth. You, you okay. nimbly uh, and ably creep down the hall. And um, make sure I get this right. Look at the map. I drew the map, but I'm not sure if my drawing is right. Two X's arguing. That's going to be great. The worst is when you write something on your map and then you can't read it. Uh, see, okay, no, we're good. Okay, they're gonna see. Um, there's 19 loud, mean, starving goblins bickering and fighting over scraps of moldy food in this long hall. And there's a dead goblin lying among them, and past them is a tunnel that leads further in. Hmm. I will back up and quietly whisper to the rest of them. There's a whole lot of hungry goblins up that corridor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, and they're bickering about food. That's unfortunate for them. We could bring some noodles from the noodle troll down here. Did we we kind of killed a whole bunch of goblins. They may know about that. They're, fight, they're fighting over the leftovers of the cake. <laughs> no, I want the new bike. I want his new bike. <laughs> or they could be food for us. Uh, yeah. Goblin kind of gamey though, and that's yeah, a, goblin. That's a... Goblin isn't the best. I mean, I'm tempted to put my ball bearings in the corridor and ring my bell and see if they come running. Because the last time I got a little disappointed. That's actually a pretty good idea. I could throw cow traps too. Uh, so there were. How many were there, Solaris? Uh, about around 20. It's not that many. So about five for each of us. Five each. Um, Let's not do that. I could have to something like numbers. That's fair. I don't know. I mean, or we could just ignore them and leave them, but uh, there's more tunnel beyond them. Hmm. I don't know. I tap my chest. I'm like, hey, 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 uh, soul guide. No, I hate magic. Okay, never mind. I think Kurtle and Mac want us to go downstairs. How long is the hallway that the goblins are down? Well, it it's like 10 feet, and then it opens up into this weird room with some pillars that partially block sight. Mm-hmm. But in there, there is a door to the right, and then a thick passage to the right, further up. Ooh. There's Perfect. two things. If you want to uh, lure them down here, I might have an idea, Solaris. Oh? Mm, something new I've just been working on. I mean, it's not that big a deal. I mean, I'd I can re- I can ring I'd my really, bell. I'd really rather show than tell. Uh, we can always hide in the secret door and ring i'll ring the bell and send them send them run down the hallway sure sure too bad we don't have the pit in here 
I know. It would work so much better if the pit was in here. Oh, well. Do you guys get the feeling that we kind of condemned that dude forever since no one will see him? Well, maybe. But, I I mean... I mean, he, problem. he can talk, so if he really wants to get someone's attention, all he's got to do is, like, yell. We should have told him to do that if he heard footsteps. Because then somebody mm. might walk on the pit and be like, ah! Oh, uh, Chris Crash climbs up on, onto Yami's back and up towards her shoulder, and he's like, "What? What plan? Can Chris Crash help?" Mm, well, uh, mm. Chris Crash can well. breathe fire. Oh no! Whispers to you, so no one else hears. Chris Crash can breathe fire. <laughs> oh, well, I'll give you a little, a little, a little note. When I do this. I'm going to be at the far end of the hallway. And I think you're going to stay here. So we can hit them from both sides, you and I. Hmm? I like it. Yay. Hmm. And Solaris and Sunspot will be here, you know, to back mm -hmm. you up as your minions. Spot of Sun got blessing from Krotomac. Should help in battle. Mm -hmm. Points over towards the circlet. So that's why I still kind of just like poking it. All right. So combustion man. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. So how do you guys want to lure the goblins down the hallway? I know you brought up the bell, Solaris. I just have to stand here. I have I, I have a bell. Head. I also have ball bearings, but I do have caltrops as well. So we can have ball bearings, caltrops. Okay. Uh, bell. Okay. And around the corner, just blow them up. That's what it sounds like. Sure. Oh, Sol Solaris is like, we really don't do anything the simple way, do we? No, no. but it's it's more fun this way. Hmm. <laughs> so, what are you doing? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just waiting to see what's about to happen. Yeah, Chris Crash explains that Yami is going to do something cool over there. Points to the other side of the room. You lure them into the room here. Um, sneaky lady puts down her ball bearings, and I'll put down my caltrops. While they're distracted with that, I do something cool. Hmm. And you could do something cool with your blessing or with your, your glowy fists that seem to be able to shoot. It's true. Test out that new circlet. I know. Is you going Kinda. in there? Mm -mm. We're luring them in here. Mm -hmm. Ringing you? the bell. To try to get them. So you're gonna ring a bell. Mm -hmm. Are your ball bearings already set in your caltrops? Mm -hmm. so are you mixing? Are you making like a trail mix of ball mm -hmm. bearings and caltrops? That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. 19 goblins, guys. Ugh. Don't worry. I think I'll kill most of them in one round. Yeah. So many of them. We're hoping I mean, the last round. time Sunspot killed three goblins in one turn, so... Trust me, Sean, oh. I have something. <laughs> Wait, it's Goblin, right? Oh, do you speak Goblin? Oh, no, I don't. Damn. Oh, okay. shit, okay. All right, let me look up neither. my goblins. <sighs> All right, so you, uh, you set up your balls and your uh, Kyle traps. And you're mm -hmm. gonna ring a bell, and is everybody in this central room where the statue is? So Solaris is going to um, sort of step into the hallway to the the east of the northern hallway and be just tucked in there when the when this goes, whatever happens, happens. Mm -hmm. She's gonna ring the bell from there. All right. Well, so you set up your your build ball bearings and caltrops, and mm -hmm. Solaris, you kind of. You're talking to the east, this kind of big mm -hmm. hallway here. All right. As you creep towards it, you can see that there's actually creatures in there as well. Mm. I put up a hand like, what do I see in there? Three bugbears are sitting on the floor, <laughs> eating oh, well. from a sack of dead rats and sturges. Rats! Sturges. No! Yeah. My children! <laughs> I deserve vengeance. I back back into the room and point in there, and I'm like, three bugbears are in there. I wonder if that weird light thing will happen in their heads, too. 
Weird what? Yeah, and the, when we killed those other ones, their heads went pew. Oh, that thing. What? Yeah. I still don't know. So, do we want to keep going with the plan? I'm just going to go stand over by the secret door instead. Yeah, I can sure. Handle. Okay. I, I mean, go the back across the room. are going to come too, probably. That's okay. Whatever. I, I go back across to the secret door we came in, and I'm going to tuck in there to mm. ring my bell. Um, so and I set many, my guys. bag of ball bearings at that doorway for the bugbears. Ooh. Oh. So many bad guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sunspot's just standing on the pedestal of the statue, like in plain sight. He's just like, "This is gonna go to shit anyway." So, there uh, is. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. So you ring the bell. I ring the bell. Ding ding. All right. <laughs> you hear a whole lot of and then like, you know, let's all roll initiative. Good. Oh wow! Wish I had a dice cam. Oh, <laughs> that. Oh. Ooh, uh, ooh. All right, Yami, what'd you get? Eighteen. Eighteen for Yami. What about Sunspot? Six. Oh. Six for Sunspot. I rolled a natural one, and I have a plus five initiative. Nice. <laughs> Solaris, you got a thirteen plus what? I have a seventeen total. 17 for nice. Solaris. The dice cam. What about Chris? 30 20. Ooh. Tiny cobalt with flex. You know, for the dice cam, I probably don't even need to buy like a nice camera, right? I could just get. Really? Old... Man, just. What if I'm out of USB ports on my computer? Get a get an extension extender. that allows more. That's what I have. How much are those? Do you know? It's like maybe yeah. 10 bucks. <gasps> Who got the 20? Chris? Yeah, dirty 20. So what did Caltrops do? Uh, DC 10. Uh, let me look on D&D Beyond. Uh, Caltrops. Yeah, you place them on the ground. It's a five-foot square. Any creature that enters the area must succeed a DC 15 dexterity saving throw. Whoa, that's a Stop DC. moving and take one piercing damage. And then the ball bearings, the same thing, except it's a DC 10 mm. dexterity. And if they fail, they fall prone. I like the idea of falling prone on the caltrops. <laughs> All right, so let me get my goblin stats here. Oh, and their speed is reduced by 10 feet if they get hurt by the caltrops. Speed is reduced by 10. Okay. Plus four. Well, bonus. Okay. Let me look, find my bugbears. Since we got both ball bearings and caltrops, you might want to just have, um, since you have so many guys, one dexterity saving throw. I was thinking that. Well, what I'm thinking or like one for is, five or something. what I'm probably going to do is, like, the first person saves, and if they fail, I mean, he's going to block passage for the others. So I'm just <laughs> going to roll to see how many get through. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's the bugbear. Alright, so, goblin number one. It's walking through both things. So first we'll do... It's a DC 10 for the balls. So dingle, dingle, dingle. You hear... Eh? Eh? You hear plop, 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 plop. And then... Uh, okay, made it for the balls. Oh. What about the caltrops? A 19! One Whoa. goblin makes it through. Jesus. Uh, but the second one falls on the balls. <laughs> And the caltrops. So, I mean, that hallway's only five feet wide, right? So, yeah. plunk. Mm -hmm. and so, one goblin actually runs through and sees Sunspot standing on the statue, right? Yep. Alright. So, uh... Sunspot, it goes. Runs up to you, plus four. Ooh, 21. So that hits. Take five damage. Alright. Now, the bugbears. The first bugbear... Dex, uh, okay, it made it through the balls. <laughs> Failed on the caltrops, though, so it takes a point of piercing and, and that ends its move. Is that how it is? Yeah, yeah. And then from from then on until it heals that one, it has uh -huh. a minus 10 to its movement. All right, the one behind it has a javelin. It's going to throw a javelin at some spot. Cool. 10 misses by a million. Hits the statue. <laughs> Hits the deformed head of the statue. Oh, 
plops to the ground. All right, Meh. so, Krish, your turn. What do you want to do? Let me get some... Uh, bonus action, and I cast Dragon's Breath on myself. And then um, move over, and uh, there's only one visible bugbear right now, or is there one, like, right behind him? Uh, I mean, there's one in the door, and there's one behind it. Or one in the entrance way, and one behind it. Okay, the the he's seen how powerful these big hairy things are, so he's gonna go for that first. And he goes up, and he breathes a breath attack. So they've already made a deck save, but now they gotta make yet another deck save. Mm. I have a plus two, eight, and an eight. Uh, the DC was thirteen, so they failed. Bug one, bug two. As as uh. Chris Crash opens his mouth and a spew of flames shoot out. Whoa! Ah. And I, oh my god, I need a dice cam. I got three fire damage out of my three d6. <laughs> hmm. uh, yes, I rolled three ones. Hmm. I imagine like a cartoon, the top part of Chris Crash's head just opens like a hinge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. You'll is get it, better, buddy. <laughs> is that it for the Chris Crash? Yes. Next up is Yami. There's one goblin by the statue. There's a bunch mm. of bugbears. Then there's a clog of goblins. In the hallway, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to run up to the hallway. And, like, right behind the caltrips, basically. Um, And I'm going to look at the goblins with a smirk and say, Hello there, boys and girls. And Yami's going to rip off her kimono and reveal on her other arm that's usually under it uh a new tattoo that she has of a zelifarn that she got oh the bronze dragon. upper arm and sort of across her back and stuff um and as she does like her features get kind of like draconic looking mm -hmm. uh as her tattoo starts to ripple with lightning and uh how many goblins do you think i could catch in a 60 foot line <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay. Then I need all of them to make me a dexterity saving throw as nine. I spend five points for a lightning leap. <laughs> I rolled natural one, natural three, natural eight, natural one, natural one. Wow. Eight. Four, mm -hmm. seven. They all okay. fail. None of them made it. Excellent. Do you need one of these, Sean? What is that? It's a dice jail. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't subscribe to that theory of dice punishment. I simply give my dice positive reinforcement until they roll good again. So, since they all failed, they're going to take 26 lightning damage each. And then I'm going to teleport along this line as Yami turns into a bolt of lightning and goes through them, and I appear behind the last one I hit. See, now if you told me you were going to do lightning, I would have made my breath lightning. Eh, All right, okay. so you killed nine of them. They each have Excellent. seven hit points. So and they all, and they, you appear, so you're deep in that room now, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Dang. Okay. <laughs> Kilimanjaro. Um, and then as my bonus action, I'm gonna also assume ogre form. So, I go up to like ten feet tall, get a little bigger, you know. Okay. Get some ten hit points. Like that. So, Laris. Well, Solaris kind of has her jaw open, like. <laughs> I told you it'd be good. Oh, okay, she's still alive. What the hell? Uh, I'm going to, like, run up behind the one that's base to base with Sunspot that attacked him. And I'm going to try to stab it with my short sword. Like, what the hell was that? Okay. So I'm going to uh, attempt to stabby stab this thing. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Short sword that glows with moonlight. Ooh, natural 16 plus. Mm. Diplomacy gets a plus 7 at this point, so I got a 23 to hit. 
23 hits. How much damage? All right, I'm throwing my sneak attack in because it's base to base with somebody. And I got 3d6 sneak attack now. So, let's see. I get 11 plus 15 points of damage to this goblin. Uh, it dies. How do you kill it? <laughs> I, uh, I just step up behind it, and I just stab it through the back of the head so that the blade with the moonlight shining comes out the front by its nose. Mm -hmm. And I just look up at Sunspot, and I'm like, hey. So, so yeah, let, uh, the lightning thinks pull it out and let it drop. Weird. Man. Yeah. Um, all right. So now it's uh, my turn, and then it will be Sunspot's turn. So on my turn, um, is there a thing where if you move at half speed, you can walk your way through the caltrops and the balls. The caltrops, but not the ball bearings. So I still have to worry about the wait, balls. Wait, let me double check that. I would say you could do half speed for both. Bug bear ball check. <laughs> ah, 18. There we go. Alright, so you, we should probably... Do you know yeah, for yeah. sure if I can choose it or not? Cause... Yeah, it looks like for both you can move half speed. Right. Mm -hmm. The bug bears carefully creep over the ball bearings. So the bug bearings are in the main room, and then Yami is alone with ten goblins. Yep. So the bug bears chuck. What do they got? Javelins! Solaris! Hey. Javelins come flying at you! Oh, crap! Plus four. Big, furry, muscle goblins. <laughs> uh, Fifteen? Oh, yep. That'll hit her. Nine piercing. Oh, wait, no. Five. Piercing. Ow. Uh, 14 to hit? Or 13? That, uh, that time she steps sideways and dodges out of the way. And nine misses you, right? Yep. Then she'll just sort of like drop her head low and look back and be like, seriously? Ow. Damn it. Throws this javelin out of the way after it's should have caught it. There, is there any uh -huh. way Chris Crash could have tried to stab one as it was going by? Or... Yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll use his reaction for that. Then. Uh, he misses, so it's whatever. <laughs> Alright. Um, meanwhile, in the room, it's a weirdly shaped room, mm -hmm. so it's hard for too many of the goblins to get to you. But it's like yeah. bad CGI, where you're a muscly version of yourself, and goblins are jumping at you through the air, you know? And they're, like, <laughs> bouncing off. So we'll say, like, four of them somehow are able to. Okay harm you in some way uh 12 does that hit uh no armor class is 15 uh oh uh, 15 uh five damage um oh you know what they can disengage as a bonus so like mm. th they can move up attack and then disengage and make space for others to attack mm. so uh that was so i did two mm -hmm. uh 18 hits right so that's five yep the two misses. Let's do a couple more. Yeah. Uh, 11 misses. Mm -hmm. 23. That hits. 5 damage. And yeah. 20 total. So that's another 5. So, goblins are like, ah! And they're whoosh, 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 jumping and moving all around. And you're, and you're plowing them, knocking them away. Alright, but they do cut you up a little bit. Okay. That's my bad, guys. Uh, and then it is sunspot time. Finally. Thanks. Three bugbears throwing javelins at Solaris, who's like right in front of you. Then you hear up in the room above, um, Yami fighting a pile of goblins. Um, Sunspot's going to look at the three bugbears, smile, go, oh, hi there, and then shoot three, the scorching ray, the three blasts at one to each bugbear. All right. Solaris ducks and covers her head and goes, holy crap! Gotta try this new puppy out. <laughs> All right, so for the first one, uh, probably not a 10 to hit. Oh, uh, no. Second one, oh gosh, a uh, 14. Um, missed by just a little bit. And then the last one, come on, there we go, 23. Yes, how much damage? Five fire damage. All right, so three fire and they shriek in terror and one gets struck in the shoulder uh, still gotta try working on the aim of this thing <laughs> <laughs> alright and then it is Krish's turn 
He's going to use his um, bonus action to dash down the hallway towards Yami. Mm -hmm. Did not expect her to leave the room. Got to protect yeah. Master. That's that he thinks that's his job. Okay. So he goes that way, and um, as an action, um, is there any way I could do a fifteen foot cone breath attack without hitting Yami? You can hit me. Yeah. Okay. It's just a big pile of goblins, so you can just aim big in a clump of goblins. Okay. <laughs> right there and. Bah! It's just a gout of flame, and they All need right. to make DC thirteen dex saves. Alright, and what's the, like, what, is this like a 15 foot cone or something? Yeah, but we're in a hallway, so I'm not sure what all this will do. Well, happen. part of it is thicker, so you can get five. Ooh, okay. This deck save? Yes, uh, 13 is the goal. Fail. Made it. Even fail. if they make it, it's half, unless they have evasion. Made it. Yeah. Three fail, two make it. Okay, let's see if I get a three again. Okay, much better. That's uh, eight fire total. So three die, two have minus four. <laughs> so it's 13 dead now, and there's six remaining. Okay. And two of them are wounded. Excellent. Okay. And that's Chris's turn. All right. So Chris, you run in there, you breathe fire on a big clump of goblins, and they, and three just drop to the ground, and two more are smoking but still alive. Hmm. Uh, Yami, it is your turn. Okay, so you said there's six, right? That's right. Hmm. Think. I think Yami is going to spend her last four side points to activate Charming Presence, uh, which I have to roll some dice. Uh, God, how many would it be for one, two, three, eight? Okay, after all, 8d8. Let's see. Okay, that's five. Uh, 15. Six, um, so, I activate my mantle of awe. Yami looks like a, a character from a Baishonen manga or whatever <laughs> um and 53 hit points worth of creatures in a 30 foot uh radius from me starting with the one with the lowest hit points uh is charmed by me for the next 10 minutes uh how many how many hit points are left over <laughs> i don't know there's uh let's see so the total hit points three six um seven so that's 30, they have a total of 34 hit points left. 34 yep. hit points. So I have 21 left. So <laughs> I am also charmed. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Not that, not that you needed that to do that. Excellent. Yeah, that's normal. Mm -hmm. So Kuriyami lets out a little laugh and says, Well, hello there, new minions. There you go. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> How would you like to come work for me? Okay. <laughs> Excellent. New That's friend. My... All right. Yami has charmed six goblins and one kobold. <laughs> so let us. These bugbears are ripped. They've been drinking protein shakes, and uh -oh. they look like they do a lot of grappling in their spare time. Oh, good. Jiu-jitsu. Nice. You feel like their ground game might be superior to your own. So you've got to be ready with your right. takedown defense. Great, 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 cool, cool. Um, so they're not base to base with and with either of us at the moment, right? No, they threw javelins. So. Great. Um, I'm gonna move up to the closest one. What's that? Maybe ten feet to travel to fifteen, mm -hmm. possible. Um, I'm going to use insightful fighting. So it needs to make a deception check, and I'm going to roll an insight check. See if uh, I have to make a deception. Yes, I got a six. Deception. I got a six plus dice cam. Oh, I've got an 11 total, so I get my sneak attack against him because I beat him. Nice. So I'm going to use my short sword to stab him. All right, well, uh, might as well leave the dice cam up because I'm gonna roll again. 
Dice cam. Dice cam. Short sword. Ooh, that's going to be a 24 to hit. 24. Uh, okay. That, I think that hits. All right. So with some sneak attack on that, we'll put some stank on it. Oh, God. Oh, wow. That's going to be uh, 17, 19 plus 4, 23 points of damage to the one that I ran up to. Got 23. Um, I think he has one hit point left. Oh, um, <laughs> him on the news. I don't have another attack left, so I just smile and I'm going to uh, shoot. I'll stay there. <laughs> Run up and you stab him. He's just, you know, blood everywhere, and he's just barely still alive. So Solaris looks down at the wound and looks back that he's still standing and goes, "Surrender." <laughs> We'll see on his turn. Mm. Is that it for Solaris? That is it for Solaris. I guess so. Six charmed goblins. Um, oh, let me do the bugbears. So you want the one to surrender? Uh, no, he's got courage. I rolled a courage roll. Okay. Right. He got a fifteen on his courage roll. So. It's Fantastic. In second edition, you would call that a morale check. Hmm. All right. Well, I made my morale check. So it it, it, it it lashes out at you, Solaris, with its dying, gooey breath. And it cool. takes out its morning star and tries to oh. whomp you on the cranium. Trying to strike you in the central cranium area. Plus four. Hmm. A nine. Dodge. Nice. You dodge it, but there's two more with their I morning stars. I smile and say, surrender? <laughs> they... You good over there? Plus four. Uh, 20 total. That will hit. 11 piercing from a morning star. I'm going to use my reaction to uncanny dodge and drop that down to half. Uncanny half. dodge. So I'll take nice. five. And one more. Plus four. Another 19. Oof. 11 piercing damage. Ow. Uh-oh. What's that, Chris Crash? <gasps> Another Chris dice cam. Another oh, dice cam. <laughs> it's a Chris Crash cam. <laughs> Let's go to the Chris Crash Cam. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm just seeing if I could get that to work. Let's right. go to the Chris Crash Cam. All right, so that's it's it. just a little GoPro on Chris's head. <laughs> <laughs> All you see is kneecaps <laughs> <laughs> and groins. Sunspot. And you hear his heavy breathing. <laughs> Mouth breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, headphone users. I apologize. Sunspot, it's your turn. Solaris is getting attacked by bugbears. And it looks like the dice cam is now getting visual effects. Unbelievable. Oh, cam. Um, it's going to stay where he is on the statue because he's not getting close yet. Yo, hey, that's not very nice. And Radiant Sun Bolts. <laughs> Pew, 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 pew. Now there's one with one hit point left. Are you... Yeah, that's the one I'm going for first. Okay. So one at him, which will be a dirty twenty to hit. That definitely hits. I, I mean, I don't think I even need to roll because my damage modifier is a plus five. So how do you kill it? Just gonna like it's gonna come like I sucker punched him in the side of the face, just like. <laughs> Slow motion style, and then Dead. shoot one at the next one. Mm -hmm. A twenty-two to hit. That hits. How much damage? Uh, ten radiant damage. Okay. And then I'm going to spend a key point to do two more radiant blasts at him. Just two more. Okay. Yep. I could use it twice as a bonus action. Uh, fourteen probably doesn't hit. This is. And a 15. Oh, just misses. No. Okay. Is that it for Sunspot? Yep, I'm still just seeing it on my statue. Krish! Krish is, uh... Krish Crash. Did there he is. It? <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay. So, catching up here. What's cool is hmm. I have... Um, this holder thing that can hold my dice cam. I am so set for this. 
I don't know if you can see this, but this little I, claw thing. Yeah. Ooh. I, I know. Yeah, I was about to say. I know for the live action, they do it straight up above. It's like on the yeah. ceiling, looking yeah. down. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Hey, ten thing. million dollar Kickstarter. We're getting a dice uh -huh. cam. It's gonna be good. Um, so, how many bug bears? Or sorry, how many goblins are left? Get a film camera. Never mind. They're all charmed. So they are. Right, hey, you're charmed. Including me. So, I'm like. Yeah. And I'm just staring at you. Yum. Oh, that's right, you're charmed. I'm slightly uncomfortable, but... <laughs> what do you want me to do next, Master? Well, I mean, let's go kill those bugbears. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, turns around. <laughs> Goes into the other room. Well, how many are left? Two. Two of them. Is there any way I could do the breathy and hit two of them without hitting the others? Yes. Okay, I, I guess I'll do that again. No roll on my part, but there you got DC 13 deck saves. Plus two. I got a four. I got yeah. a 21. One failed, one made it. Okay, the one that made it takes half. Uh huh. Let's see if I can do this improvised camera. Whoa. Dice uh -huh. cam! Oh, there it is. Okay. The Chris cam! Chris cam! Chris cam! Mm. Oh, what an authoritative oh. roll. Oh. There you go. Oh, man. So, a total of 10 fire damage. Oh, it hey. hurt really bad. Boom. Ah. Alright, you said it for Chris? Uh, yes. Yami. Two bugbears, six charmed goblins. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna go run in and hit a bugbear. You know. I'll tell my goblins if they want to come, they can't do. <laughs> Alright, you know what? This fight is pretty much done. How do you all kill them? Just say. Just say it. Oh. I think the minute okay. they get swarmed by Yami and the goblins, Solaris is just like, got this, and she disengages. Right. Ow! All right. How hurt How hurt do you look? Uh, that was fun. I mean, I'm bleeding. So I would be bloodied in previous editions. Uh, while, while you and the mob are beating up these bugbears, Chris Crass asks, Master, should I heal the sneaky woman? Yes, of course. Okay. Casts, uh, casts Cure Wounds on you at first level. Whew. That's all I got. Thanks. I got a tattoo, by the way. <laughs> I see that. Dice cam. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Hold so on. You... Move it over a little bit. I can't see it on the uh, overlay. There it is. Oh, a one. <laughs> High rollers. <laughs> so well, you... that's the dice cam. It's the thrill of victory and the agony of natural ones. You heal a whopping three. Okay. And then she'll pull out a healing potion and chug that as <laughs> well. Probably, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> Sounds fast just polishing his circlet. Oops. Oh, uh oh. I disappeared. What happened? We, How did you we teleport? Had, we had just did. Room. Uh, I drank the wrong potion, well, and I yeah, became Chris Crash. Alright, wait. So. You all teleported around the overlay. Yes. I didn't. <laughs> you didn't? I stayed. Right. I stayed. You stayed? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so let's see. Sol Solaris goes there. And then we need... Teleported away, I'm sorry. We're having... We're ha I wanted to be Chris Crash for a day. Gotcha. Don't we all? We all want to be Chris Crash. I, I think yeah. I'm going to limit the dice cam to just the d20 rolls. Mm. Somewhere, um, a gif goes, Not all of us. <laughs> Most, perhaps, but not all. <laughs> He's busy getting a sword crafted called Cobalt Bane. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What do you do with these six Cobalt or uh, Goblin minions that you have how long does this last well they're charmed by me for 10 minutes but i think i'm probably gonna give them a speech over the corpses of these murdered goblins and bugbears and just sort of tell them the xanathar's days are numbered you might want, not want to be a member of his gang anymore i think serving me when this charm wears off would be most lucrative for you in that I'm not going to have to murder you. And, well, that would be better for everyone, really, you know? 
Isn't it usually when charm person wears off, they're aware that they've been charmed? Is that? But it's just different than that. Yeah, this is charming presence. It's part of my mantle of all thing. Uh -huh. it doesn't it doesn't say they know? So I don't know. Up to DM's interpretation, maybe. Yeah, really. They... And really, I mean, well, hey, we'll find out once the ten minutes video. have run out, I guess. <laughs> but I do, I do want to ask, Mister Sunspot. You have your circlet now. Yeah. And the Xanathar doesn't. That's true. That's very good. Ugh. I don't even know how he'd use it with that big bulbous head of his. I just see a beholder with a tiara and I laugh. I know. <laughs> what? It's on one of the tentacle eyes. <laughs> there we go. I'm beautiful. <laughs> Matter what I'm say. a pretty princess. Mm. He gives it to so, his fish. It, it's for his oh fish. my god. I could see that happening. So Sunspot, since you have while well, you came down here to Undermountain, what what are your plans? Uh, I don't really know what my plans are. Mm -hmm. It seems like you guys kind of need me, but I, I know mean, you did I a lightning would... thing. You went uh, like, eh. that I was, was very happy funny. about that. Oh, thank you. That's new. I, yeah, I figured because you didn't use it last time we were together. Yeah, I met a bronze dragon, and he died, so I had to pour one out for my, my home dog, you know. Home He's... dog? Wow. Mm -hmm. you... That's yep. some old slang. <laughs> Did that very casually for meeting a bronze dragon and befriending yeah. it? Yeah. What, that doesn't happen with everybody? I live in the sewer. Well... I, I did. I did live in sewers. Well, hey... If you don't have a home, I mean, I plan on taking over Undermountain, basically. And I think it would be very useful if there were people like you who were friends with me, sort of uh, helping me keep house. So I know you, Undertakers are dorks, but with these goblins and the Undertakers as your new servants, perhaps, might you want to live here on level one? Huh? Do I have to take all the undertakers? No, you don't. You can you can pick and choose. I mean, what about the goblins? Do I have to take all of them? No, I guess not. You gotta have interviews. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like they're gonna turn on me very quickly. The goblins. Well, if, they, if they do, you can just punch them. I know you can. I so, mean, so Gribble Grob, where do you expect to <laughs> be? <your> <laughs> So what are your strengths and your weaknesses as a henchman? <laughs> well, I can, I can, I, can spit, you... I can spit really far. Oh, that's is good. it regular spit or is it acid spit? Because then... <laughs> Do you have any references I can call? The they, all do, they all point <laughs> to like each other. <laughs> oh, and the, the bugbears that you killed. <laughs> hmm. I don't think you're going to be helpful. <laughs> This is my fur daddy, and that's my fur mom. <laughs> Please never say that again, Sean. They're, they're sleeping right now. Why? I mean, it's their parents. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, what are you talking about? <laughs> so that was my idea. I don't... <laughs> new, new Twitch, not new Twitch emote. It's just a bugbear smiling for her daddy. <laughs> for her daddy. <laughs> God. Sorry. <laughs> Took on a paternal role. So. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's my natural. God. <sighs> so Laris is just still standing there, like, scratching her head, like, what the hell all just <laughs> happened? Bruce Crash is looting the bodies of any gold. That's fair, yeah. Oh, Cause, looting. Because uh, he's, he's that guy. <laughs> let's see. Completely all right. Crash, crash. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Ooh, cold. <laughs> uh, let's I, see here. At, at least I don't try to loot all their weapons. Try to sell them in the marketplace. Oh, God. For under market value. Um, I mean, the bug... The, uh, the bugbears have hide armor and shields and a morning star and some javelins. Um, goblins don't really have anything. Oh, and doesn't... you you notice one of the fur daddies lying on the ground? Mm -hmm. 
it, like there's a flash of light inside its head. Why? And, Why does it do that? This one oh, like no. the other ones with the head thing. Just one. Chris, Chris Crash points out. Points huh. specifically at that one that did. Sunspot goes over and kicks it in the head for good measure to make sure it's dead. It's dead. I don't know. But no, no, no gems or gold, right? No. See that okay. this isn't Hell's Rebels. So. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm fine. I know. With, I'm fine with no, that. No, no plus two longsword on every creature. <laughs> oh, another think, plus two weapon. Uh. Uh, let's give it to the zombies. That's what they do. <laughs> I know. I think I, I turn to the goblins and I'm like, "See, the Xanathar doesn't even pay you." <laughs> Told you it'd be more lucrative. They just Same. like look at you stupidly. Oh, goblins. Are you our them. new mom, me? Yes, yes. And this is your father. And I, I take Sunspot and I, I pat him on the shoulder. I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm. Where, where's his, where's his fur? <laughs> oh god. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to know. He <laughs> shaves. True, he does, is he? Point oh. is undercut. Wait, yeah, I was like, I have the undercuts. There's like shaved sides, but lower <laughs> top. It's just are like, you are you an elf? Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm a wood elf with an undercut. He's a goblin with mange. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is I'm the goblin daddy. Yes. Yeah, you're Jareth from uh, Labyrinth. <laughs> so you've graduated from Rat King to Goblin King. I magically get oh, a hey, yeah. What the. <laughs> What'd you get? A cod piece. Oh, <laughs> Jared. He does that crystal, ball thing. I have yeah. two crystal <laughs> spheres that you just Where, like juggle. Where's this coming hand. from? <laughs> you have tights that leave little to the imagination. Do you break into song and dance? You know, you know dance, Tiny Goblin. Dance, you dance. remind me of the babe. The babe with the power? <laughs> yes. What are you people talking about? <laughs> First Crash would totally be in the in the uh, magic dance song. Totally. Mm, oh, he totally. looks like one of the goblins there. Yeah. Um. Oh, so here you are in the dungeon of the Mad Mage, with a choice. Yeah. With a choice to make, you can go down those stairs. <sighs> Who knows what thrills and dangers await you down the stairs? Or there's a few areas here left to explore. Past the goblin area, there was a door that led somewhere. And uh, there's also a thick passageway that led somewhere as well. Do you want to... Uh, we have a little bit of time left if you want to... You want to check think... out what was north of the goblins before we call before we go down those stairs over there? Sure, we can run through there. Choose your choice. Choose wisely. I do know Skullport is definitely down. Okay. If we're in any rush to get there. The button to Skullport was broken. So I know. Yeah. You know, I didn't even think to try to tinker with it and fix it. Yeah, magic. Who knows? I hate magic. No good yeah. with magic. All right. Yeah, the known, they might be able to. So you uh, bring your little goblin flunkies up past the goblin room to see what yeah. was in that big large Apparently. room. Apparently. We're going to have kobold and goblin workers at the tavern now. Exactly. They're our friends. Awesome. Here, um... Vampire cosplayers. <laughs> I guess you hear talking. Yeah. Uh, that's always good. And you can see big shadows of big creatures. Two of them. And each of them has two heads. Oh. Let's not go into that room. Tis a silly <laughs> Yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, hmm, you might want to get this room closed off. You know, just. <laughs> oh, I, I gotta ask: Is there any way I could collect all thousand ball bearings and my caltrops? Yes. Sure. <laughs> One, two, yep. three. As a service, he also gets Solaris's thousand. Oh, well, thank you. Do you give them back to me? Of course. Okay. Actually. Yeah. I guess, like... He thinks you have an regular... invisible guardian at all times protecting you now, so he gives you a giant. <laughs> right. I asked what the goblins' names were. Yeah. Billy, Killy, really? <laughs> oh my god. Spinilli. Uh... Wow, Scott's pulling out his token right here. That's not who's naming them. <laughs> Some spot names, but they're not going to be very nice names. <laughs> oh, sorry, those are dwarven. <laughs> oh, 
apparently. Grib grab. Snip snab. Stab stab. Pick and pack <laughs> and patty whack. Um, I have a book full of names, but I don't have it. Here. Donner and Blitzen. Those are the last two. <laughs> I had this book of ex- just uh, exquisite names that I would always jot them down whenever I heard them. Well, I think one of them should be Ronch. Ronch, that's good. Uh, yeah. R O N C H. Ronch. Yeah. Uh, Mott the Shave. Mm-hmm. Mott the Shave. Sorry, just really bad parody of Critical Role character. Oh. Um. God, there was some. Oh, that's what. It... I don't want to waste it. I don't want to waste uh, on a goblin. Yeah. yeah. Could name him after um... Apple Face. Yes. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Sparky, Sparky, Boom, Boom, Man. All right, Sparky, Boom. That's boom. what that's what a certain gnome in chat said. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We'll do that. Sparky, Boom, Boom. Ho- home Dog. Home, home dog. dog. Yeah. <laughs> home D-A-W-G. Dog. A W G. Hey, nice. Yeah. Fur, fur Daddy oh. Jr. All right, well, first oh, of all, God. there's no way Home Dog is dying anytime soon. I can tell you that. Uh, I love that one. I give uh, Home Dog a secret handshake. Fur Daddy Jr. FDJ for short. <laughs> well, those got, those got good in a hurry. All right. Ronch, Mott the Shave, Apple Face, Sparky Boom Boom. Home Dog and Fur Daddy Jr., also known as FDJ. Excellent. <laughs> My new children. Should should we head back up to Lair and rest? Pointing up towards the surface. We could yeah. do that, yeah. Check in on the business, see how Troll Skull Alley's doing. Then we can go down the stairs when we come or, back. Or go to other area we haven't gone yet. And so our heroes, accompanied by their six new goblin allies return to the surface and again the gamblers in the yawning portal are surprised that you're alive we Yay! came back with more people <laughs> chris crash does his normal thing and he goes chris crash lives and once once you leave the well the tugging on your soul becomes distant and less um it, it while in the dungeon it wrapped around you like a blanket but Aww. when you leave the dungeon, that blanket is gone. Oh. It's like somebody re- trying to wake us up in the morning. You can return to Troll Skull and do whatever you want to do with your goblins. Although Home Dog is probably going to be a featured player from this point out. <laughs> Excellent. And, uh, yeah. All right. So we'll uh, stop it there. Wrap it up. I want to thank everybody for watching and yeah. for donating bits and following and all of those things. And everybody in the chat. It's always a delight. Um, it's like a Kit Kat, you know, <laughs> that my heart eats. So uh, why don't we do plugs? Hey, uh, Dylan, do you have any plugs? Do you want to plug anything? Uh, well, I ha- I mean, you and me and Shauna, who's on Hell's Rebels later, and sometimes Rena, who's on Dungeon Academy on Sundays, do Waffle Talk on Thursdays right here on Power Score RPG sometimes. Mm-hmm. So come watch that, you know. Um, Jamie, you got any plugs? Um, on every other Monday, which so not this coming Monday, but the one after, I'm on Jeanette's channel playing Call Cthulhu, Wretched West, mm. and we're apparently gonna fight bug people. Oh God, that sounds awesome. With maybe hard. Sasquatches helping us, we don't know yet. Sasquatch is cool. Yeah, who I fed marshmallows. <laughs> he nice. had a tummy ache. Also, his name is Lil Sass. <gasps> Little Sass. Oh Little I love them. Jeanette, do you have any plugs? Oh, me. Yeah, so aside from every other Monday at 7 for Cthulhu, Call of Cthulhu, um, every other Sunday, which usually would be mm-hmm. tomorrow, but because of the holiday, I'll be at Easter dinner with my family. Uh, uh. Usually every other Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern time on my channel, we're doing... D&D 5e Skull and Shackles. <gasps> so, pirating adventures. And I know Sean likes that game. Mm-hmm. Where, and, where are you at now? Like, where are you guys uh, at? They finished day one. Day one yeah. was a mess. Oh, day one. So, <laughs> oh my god. There's, there's two characters in the brig. Mm. At the end of day yep. one. 
So yeah, cool. And I stole um, all my stuff from the quartermaster's office, but got shot and knocked to one hit point by a crossbow bolt. <laughs> yeah, that was good too. Um, <laughs> and then I'm actually playing on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern time on Damn It Berry's Twitch channel. I'm playing a tiefling cleric um, in the Horde of the Dragon Queen. So if you want to... You're doing Horde of the Dragon Yeah, Queen. we're doing Horde of the Dragon Queen. So Cool. And yet we uh, we have sworn vengeance on Todd, a cultist who stole the chicken that we were going to eat, and he got away. So vengeance is sworn. Todd will die. We will find him, I swear. Todd. <laughs> Todd. Scott, do you have a plug or five? Or, f- or five. <laughs> um, in two hours, I'll be running, continuing my Cholt campaign, Adventures in the Trackless Sea, where the group might be going to Shadowfell to try to save Mesro, the lost city of Cholt. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Nice. The campaign is probably, this is probably going to be like our finale adventure as they bring Uvtau and his city back to the material plane. Cool. They're That's about to nice. fight some totally not death knight character so we'll, we'll see how that goes cool in oh, a... and go ahead just w- one last thing um i know jeanette and myself have patreons so if any of you like well. threw anything at either of those i think we both would greatly appreciate it cool i didn't know you guys had patreon things yeah i'll check them out dollar dollar a month is means a lot to me at least Mm-hmm. I can Agreed. do a dollar, definitely. <laughs> uh, in about two hours, maybe less. Hey, I can float something by you guys real quick. Uh-huh. So I'm going to run Hell's Rebels at 6.30 uh-huh. on yeah. this channel. Um, so there's a... Shauna's character does performances, and there's like a hype man. His name is Rapping Athuk. Oh my right? god. And so I was looking up <laughs> modern raps because I don't know anything about rap, modern raps. So mm-hmm. Takashi69. I've been studying his work. And at the start mm-hmm. of one of his uh, songs, there's this guy, Treeway, who does this introductory preamble where he says things like, follow protocol. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> right? Blood. But he drops the N word a lot. So here's what I'm thinking about doing. I want to hear if you guys think this is okay or not. And okay. the viewers yeah. also. I'm thinking in this campaign in Kintargo, saying that Rebel yeah. is sort of like the N-word. <laughs> I mean, so I can when it. I get the lyrics of these songs, I replace the N-word with Rebel. Or the more slightly more acceptable version, reb uh, And it doesn't have the hard <laughs> L at the end. <laughs> Re- is that Rebus? okay, or should I just not even do that? What's that's, up, Rebus? That's my question. Uh, I I would try it. Why not? Yeah. Uh, I mean, with the, with the uh, dude. I think you'd have to do it with the uh, because Rebel... R-E-B-B-A. I, you can't do the yeah. hard L, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a little weird. <laughs> I just don't want to trivialize a very sensitive topic in real life, and I can't. Mm-hmm. I have no judgment, mm-hmm. so... Okay. All right, I'll try it, and um, if I get hate mail, I'll, I'll forward it to you. So Hooray. Okay, excellent. I'll say hate mail. Hate mail. They, they said it was okay. I told them no. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching. <laughs> we will see you again next week. Goodbye forever for one week. <laughs>